How to help someone find hope and healing. Our morning message that God made us to need each other, based on Hebrews 7.25. Do you know someone who seems like a hopeless case, someone who seems like they'll never know Jesus? Maybe you once thought you were a hopeless case yourself. I've found that a small group is the best place for a hopeless person to find healing. You can pray together for hopeless cases, lean on the faith of each other, when you doubt. Luke 5 tells a great story of a small group of men who took a friend who was paralyzed and in need of healing, to the feet of Jesus. Those men did what small groups of Christian friends still do today. They take you to Jesus when it feels too hard to get there by yourself. In this story, you find seven characteristics of a small group that God uses to heal. Today we're going to look at three of those characteristics, and tomorrow we'll look at the rest. 1. Compassion This man was healed because his friends cared. It all starts with you caring about people who are hurting. Romans 15 2 says, we should help others do what is right and build them up in the Lord. God used these guys because they were sensitive to a friend's need. And he'll use you when you aren't preoccupied with your own needs, and when you start caring more about others than you do yourself. 2. Faith The men believed God would heal their friend. Take a look at Luke 5:20. when Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. It wasn't the paralytic's faith that made him well, it was the faith of his friends. You have to believe for people who are so paralyzed they can't believe in God. 3. Intervention These friends didn't just pray for their friend, they took action as well. They intervened. It's not enough just to pray for someone who is hurting. You also have to do something. Jesus says in Luke 14 23, Go out to the roads and country lanes and compel them to come in, so that my house will be full. The Bible talks about people taking others to Jesus. So remember, if a friend needs hope and healing, show compassion, have faith, and intervene on your friend's behalf. No one was made to do life alone. God made us to need each other. I am truly glad you spent time to view this message. I hope you are blessed and share this with somebody else. Thank you, and have a great day everyone.